Argumentation is something that is makru amongst the ulama, but it's haram amongst the awam because you do not have the requisite information to argue with that person. We have to stop arguing. Argumentation has no benefit in this deen, none. Imam Malik would leave when there was argument. People have to realize, if somebody has studied the deen for several years and you have not, you cannot argue with that person, even if you disagree with them, because you do not have the requisite information to argue with that person. Argumentation is something that is makru amongst the ulama, but it's haram amongst the awam, according to the ulama. And this is why Imam al-Ghazali said, leave knowledge to the ulama. Leave knowledge to the ulama. That does not mean don't become a scholar. But what it means is if you're not an alim, don't start speaking about knowledge because you don't have it. And this is why Imam al-Bukhari says, Bab al-ilmi qabl al-qawli wal-amal. The chapter of knowledge before speaking or doing anything. So really, we have to guard our tongues about argumentation. I mean, there's people argue all the time now. And this is why Imam Ali was asked, how do you know a man? He said, if he speaks, I know who he is instantly. And if he shuts up, I'll work it out in a day. <laughs> right? Somebody speaks, he'll expose himself immediately. Either he's a fool or he's an intelligent person because a man lies hidden under his tongue. So we have to learn our place in the world. This is part of adab. Really, it's part of adab. A student of knowledge is not the same as somebody who's not a student of knowledge. And just because you have your, your book like Fiqh Sunnah in your house in translation, and your Muhsin Khan Bukhari in translation, and your Noble Quran in translation, does not mean that you are a scholar or even a student of knowledge. Because one of the secrets of this deen is it's taken from other human beings. Allamahu shadid al quwa The Messenger of Allah was taught by Jibreel. The ulama say the wisdom in that is to teach the ummah that knowledge is taken from teachers. And he said, Inna ma The Prophet was sent to teach people, but he himself was taught, and he was taught by somebody who was less in stature than he was. Which is a sign that we should take from people. Somebody might know tajweed and that's all he knows. And I might be a faqih. And so my knowledge is greater than his knowledge because knowledge of fiqh is over knowledge of tajweed. But I have to humble myself if I don't know tajweed and go to him and have him teach me tajweed. We have to be humble.